hello everyone so today in this video i'm going to show you that how can you host or deploy your laravel application to the hosting and uh, the one that i'm going to use the hosting that i want that i'm going to use in this video is the hostinger hosting and this is not my hosting actually this is the hosting of one of one of my client and he wants me to deploy uh, his laravel application so if you have uh, any other hosting then uh, the process will be same just the difference is the C panel or H panel so I'm using Hostinger so that's why I have this beautiful H panel uh, maybe you are using different ho uh, hosting so you ha will have a simple C panel or different uh, C panel but the process will be same so when you log into the Hostinger you will see this home page uh, so to host your application you need to go to the hosting and then you need to find the domain on which you want to uh, host your Laravel application so as you can see I have different domains here so I need to choose the domain on which I want to host my Laravel application so I want to host my Laravel application on this domain so let's click manage and it will go to the uh, dashboard of this domain so when you go to this domain you need to click the file manager and this will open up in a new uh, tab and this will actually open a file manager where your application will be hosted so let me show you the application that I want to host this is the Laravel application there are different ways to host your Laravel application like with the help of FTP with the help of SS key, SSH keys but the one that I'm going to use uh, or show you uh, that is the manual way so what I need to do I need to go to the uh, destination the folder on which in which where my uh, project is located so this is my project emerging publishers so what I need to do I need to convert this folder this application folder into the compressed zip folder so when you right click on the application folder and then you need to see this send to option and when you click this send to option you will see this compressed zip folder option so you need to click this and this will convert actually into the zip folder so whenever you host your application uh, in a manual way you need to first uh, convert your application folder into the zip folder so let's wait while it compressing now as you can see uh, the folder has been compressed successfully uh, now what I need to do I just need to uh, upload this folder into this public HTML folder so let's go to the this public HTML folder and I just have this dot htaccess file in this so if I go to the domain where I need to uh, where I want to upload this application as you can see this is giving 500 internal error because I don't have anything I didn't upload anything in this public HTML folder so let's click this upload button if you have a different hosting you need to, you should have a different button here so click this upload button and then you need to click this file option so click this file option and then you need to go to the uh, destination uh, in the folder where you have compressed the application as you can see this is the application that we have compressed so let's upload this application and it will take some time while uploading and it depends upon your internet speed and as well as uh, it, it, it depends upon your application size so let's we'll wait while it's uploading now as you can see the folder has been uploaded now uh, this folder is in zip folder that we have converted now we need to unarchive this folder so you need to click this folder click right click and then you will see uh, different options here so what you need to uh, uh, select 
what you need to select is unarchive uh, so let's click unarchive and this will ask the folder in which you want to unarchive this so I want to un unarchive this zip folder in the current folder in the public public HTML folder so I just need to uh, write here slash and then click unarchive and then it will unarchive the whole folder now as you can see this is the folder that has been unarchived and what I need to do I need to select all of this application and move it to the public HTML so to move this uh, application folders uh, you need to click this uh, f folder uh, because this means the it will go to the uh, parent folder that is public HTML folder so let's click move now as you can see now we are in the public HTML folder as you can see this is the public HTML folder and this is the complete uh, folders of our application now if I go to the uh, domain and refresh the domain as you can see now our application is live and we do not see any error so this is how we host our application now how we can uh, connect this application to the database so if I go to the contact us page and uh, fill out some data let's fill out some data some dummy data and let's see if this data as you can see now we are getting error and it is saying access denied for user so this means this application is not connected to the database so to connect this application to the database so first we need to create our database so you need to go to the hosting again and now you need to click this database option and in here you need you can create multiple databases so I have some databases here as you can see so let's create a new one and let's say uh, EP because the side name is emerging publisher and then let's say EP admin and then you can also generate the password but I will just add my own password let's say one two three four five and let's create okay so it will ask at least one number and one upper case so let's say EP dollar one two three four five let's create this so whenever you create a database you should save the credential in a separate file or file so in the future if you forget you can easily fetch the information so I have created the database now if I scroll down as you can see this is the database that we have created okay so this is not this is the database that we have created so let's go to the uh, database by clicking this enter PHP my admin button and this will go to the PHP my admin database now as you can see this is our database now what I need to do I need to upload my database to this uh, to this database so first of all I need to open the XAMPP server because I have my database on my local machine so I need to uh, deploy the database or import export the database import or import the database to the live database so let's go to the local host PHP my admin and let's go to the database that we have using that is EPDB and then you just need to s go to the export option and then select uh, select custom display all possible options and then click export and this will export the SQL file so let's save this SQL file in our downloads now uh, to upload this SQL uh, database what I need to do I need to click this import option on my live database server and it will ask to upload a file here and I can easily upload the downloaded file that is EPDB SQL that I have downloaded now let's click go and this will upload the whole database into this live database as you can see now what we have done 
we have deployed appli our application we have created our database and also we have deployed our database from localhost to the live database now to con connect this uh, live database to the application you need to go to the public html where you have uploaded the uh, application and you need to go to the dot env file of your laravel application and from here you will find the database credentials and in this uh, <coughs> credentials you need to add all of the credentials of your database that you have created so let's copy these credentials from here first of all we need the <coughs> first of all we need database name that is this and now let's copy this also this is basically the username of our database and after this ep admin and then we need to add the password that we have added that is this password ep dollar one two three four five now let's save this now if i go back and let's send this request again now as you can see the request received successfully that means our application is running and connected to the database so this is how you can easily deploy or host your laravel application with the help of manual way and in this video i used hostinger hosting to deploy application but as i said the process will be same either you are using hostinger or any other cpanel you just need to go to the file manager and then you need to convert your application folder into zip folder and then you need to upload that zip folder into your cpanel file manager or hpanel file manager and then you need to unarchive that folder and your application should be in a public html folder to be live on your domain.